Hello, I am Nicole Ciabrada, and I am here to tell you the current event in the Philippines where social medias and digital platforms play the vital role in the dissemination of information, and that is the pandemic of coronavirus. Coronavirus is still the current event which brings a lot of pains and sufferings not only here in the Philippines, but also worldwide. Going back to the year 2019, coronavirus has started. It was started in Wuhan, China. Luckily, on the year of 2020, lockdown was implemented on the last month of the last quarter of school year 2019 and 2020. There have been more than two months of preparation regarding to online learning. Teachers and students did surveys and other preparations. In order to continue the learnings of everyone, technologies played a very important role too, like laptop, gadgets, smartphones, and televisions. DepEd prepared different methods of learning like online learning, modular learning, and blended learning. E-learning or online learning platform Online learning is education that takes place over the internet. It is often referred to as e-learning among other terms. However, online learning is just one type of distance learning, the umbrella term for any learning that takes place across distance and not in a traditional classroom. Teachers uploaded the modules and activities of students to Moodle and Google Classroom so that the students can access and answer all the activities. The teachers and students conduct a virtual meeting via Google Meet, Messenger Rooms, and Zoom. And students use social medias like YouTube and Google to collect another information. Modular learning Modular learning is a form of distance learning that uses self-learning modules or SLM based on the most essential learning competencies provided by DepEd. The modules include sections on motivation and assessment that serve as the complete guide of both teachers and students' desired competencies. Teachers will monitor the learner's progress through home visits and feedback mechanisms and guide those who need special attention. Based on data gathered via DepEd's National Learner Enrollment and Survey Forms, 8.8 .8 million out of the 22.2 million enrollees, or 39.6% of total respondents, preferred modular distance learning for the upcoming school year. Meanwhile, 3.9 million enrollees, or 17.6%, were partial to blended learning which uses a combination of different modalities. 3.8 million or 17.1% preferred online learning and 1.4 million and 900,000 enrollees preferred TV-based and radio-based learning, respectively. Blended learning Blended learning is an approach to education that combines online educational materials and opportunities for interaction online with traditional place-based classroom methods. It requires the physical presence of both teacher and student, with some elements of student control over time, place, path, or pace. While students still attend brick-and-mortar, schools with a teacher present. Face-to-face -face classroom practices are combined with computer-mediated activities regarding content and delivery. Blended learning is also used in professional development and training settings. Blended learning is an education strategy that features multiple teaching methods to help students learn more effectively than one method on its own. In most cases, blended learning combines a mix of traditional classroom instruction and digital learning. 
Despite of social distancing, there's only one thing we use to still communicate to different parts of the world, and that is social media. We use Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, WeChat, and other social media apps to still communicate to our loved ones who are far from us. Communication this pandemic is impossible without social media. The effects of social media is depend on us, depend on how we use, and depend on where are we going to use those. The benefits of social media is indeed immeasurable. It also became something we relied on during tough times. You see, social media is indeed very helpful for all of us. Without it, our life will become very miserable. Without those funny videos on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok, we have nothing to watch to relieve our stresses and to laugh together. And that is the power of social media. Social media which we can lean on during tough times and the social medias we can use to gain knowledge and collect other information. That's all and thank you.